state 9, you can now leverage multi-state object support for drag and drop interactions. You can easily customize the states for drag sources and drop targets based on learner interaction and provide feedback by altering the state of the drop targets to reflect whether an answer is correct or not. Notice in this drag and drop question, when I start dragging this draggable, the state of the draggable changes and when I place it on top of the drop target, the state of the draggable and the drop target both change. When you click the submit button, you get to see the final correct and incorrect answers with the help of state change. Similarly, in this example of drag and drop practice interaction, notice how the state of the drop target changes when draggable is not acceptable. When you place it at the correct location, you get to see the state change. On clicking submit, you get to see the correct responses marked. Now let's take a look at how to create this interaction. On this slide, I've already added the objects I wish to use as draggables and as drop targets. Let's create the interaction. Click interactions, drag and drop. Select the draggables and click next. Select the drop targets and click next. Match the draggables with correct drop targets. Now click finish. Let's select all four drop targets and do some formatting changes. I'll change the size and opacity to 0% and change the snap position of the draggable to the bottom center. Now let's select the first draggable and add some states to it. Go to the properties inspector and click state view. Let's add a new state to it. Click New State and select Drag Start and click OK. This will add the Drag Start state here. With this state selected, let's go ahead and change the fill color for this caption. Now let's add another state. I'll go ahead and right click uh, the Drag Start state and click Add State. Here we will go ahead and select the Drag Over state. For the drag over state, we'll go ahead and replace the smart shape with a caption. Now let's do the same for other drag sources. Now it's time to add states for the drop targets. I'll go ahead and select the first drop target. Add a new state for drag over. Here I'll go ahead and replace this image with the drag over image and click OK. Now I'll go ahead and create more states for drop correct and drop incorrect. Do the same for the rest of the drop targets. You can also add states for drop accept and drop reject if you are converting this interaction to a practice type activity and wish to provide hints to the learners. Now let's exit the state view and preview the project. Notice how the state of the draggable changes on drag start and drag over and the drop target state changes on hover and clicking of submit button. Thank you.